a spot for lunch. dusting enough to get the lunch out. Twenty-one k north of Cook, ten k of very stony, rough, windy track, which the lady had made a nice apple cake in the home. We had a cup of tea for a half an hour and a chat. She said it was pretty rough, and after a false turn, we found the right track. We're going north, hundred k. Might get there in time for the camp with a water tank. This is an old survey mark that goes up, this is one of the Len Bedell tracks and it goes up to the business track, the Aboriginal track up the box corner. And there's a little uh, kestrel chick in the uh, nest up here, just flying doggo. One of the old the survey tripods they used to sight up onto. There's nothing here. Salt bush, a couple of nice little flat dongas. So we're okay and the road's getting a bit better. Just gotta watch out for the rocks. Nice smooth section there. We did have a little, a little smooth section, but it's back to the wall, darling. Close on this side. Back to the stones again. We think it's smoother up in here. Nice little smooth section coming up. It's the countryside we're travelling through. Pretty bare. Anthony's well ahead, but the track seems to be wandering off down that little valley thing there. The going is quite good here. It's gravelly. The bits are just for their occasional little rocky patches. It's coming up to a nice little bit that's got to be rock moist somehow. The best bit of donga and trees. Nice and moist and this is where I saw a dingo once in this sort of country, but it's just so dry. No, oh, there's a tree, a sawn tree, chopped timber. Survey marks every now and again. Man with elves, survey. He's pulled off at Bat's camp, 10k or something, further up. This is really nice driving now. Nice rolling country. down valleys, very shallow valleys. We've passed a dozen big rabbit warrens. This is quite a large area. They're often quite deep and dug over. I think they've just been abandoned. Too dry now. Maybe they, I think they might have been blown up. Eh. There's several more in this area. 
there's a lot of relatively deep valleys. The water's been flowing all the way down there. A couple of K back down the track. Various lands department survey marks. Anthony came up here and surveyed this in the 60s. You just come into this old wet area like Lucen. There's a couple of tanks. That's tanks. And Anthony's camped over here in the trees. We're going to camp over there. Well, we set up camp in the Donga over there. We parked and we found prickles and burrs, so we moved all over over here on the edge. Now we're just getting the dust out of the, the car all the way in and sweeping dust off the boxes and all. The, the boxes, top of uh, two or three of the top rows, got dust on them. It's a nice little spot here, miles from. Cook miles from anywhere, in fact. Just coming up to sunset in a few minutes. It's still above the a third of it poking above. And up above here somewhere is a couple of old wagon tracks we're going to look for. There, the sun's gone. Another day. 7.58. Oil well, all change completed over there. Done all the dishes from last night. Done shampoo of Mary's hair. I'll just do mine in the, the second hand water. Saw a dingo just coming around here, skirting around us last night. And we went to bed early because the wind was blowing like mad. And we went to sleep uh, sometime after the wind stopped. Didn't hear it. It was dead calm this morning. Over there were the, the two tanks. And uh, there's evidence of, whoops, the uh, bits of rubbish around here from years ago. There's one bird going past. Lovely and sunny now. There he is washing his hair. It's so good because he can stick his head upside down and not very many people can do that. I can. I thought it was devoid of wildlife. We just saw a roo hopping past a big red. Watching us, and there's two more watching there. Uh, inquisitive. Well, we've gone a kilometre from the camp and the survey mark, looking for a rock hole, getting all the gen on the the cans here. There's a observation tower that direct scaffolding to do their sightings from National Mapping and Lands Department there's a, a ring that they erect around the Eki eccentric spot and you can still see the, the brass bolt in the concrete I'm going to follow this track a bit further north a couple of hours or an hour another nice donga Someone's busy. There we go, number 4852. This is a, a cross on the ground, so I show up on aerial photography and it's been triangulated, so it's a control point for aerial mapping. There's a herd of camels just ahead, uh, probably one or two hundred, hundred 
150 meters ahead of me. Just, they're just standing by the side of the road. I, I'll stay here so I don't frighten them off. Green donga here. Ah, oh, the sun went out. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of lots of rabbit warrens. Don't look terribly active, but you never know. Yeah. Oops. Lovely green trees with kangaroos to lie under. And Camel. There's a patch of sun just coming up. It'd be nice if it picked out the camel rather than the car. They're trotting off. Anyway, the Makara rock hole where we saw the camels. 80k north of Cook. Oh, that bending. Hmm, the ruse would probably scrape down, scrape down into there into the dust. Interesting rock up here in the, the rock hole. Not the limestone bits but more like a conglomerate. We're a few K north of the Makara. Rock holes now. Sand now, sand dunes. Just sandy, gravelly country. Lots of lovely, thick, looking green trees. Still oh, Watch this rock. through quite attractive rolling country. The limestone is quite different. There are 60k south where it's slabs of sharp limestone. This has been bladed. This is Len Bedell's might have blazed this track according to Anthony. And he's pushed it all the way along on the, the right side, all the way along. Got the, Gravel on the right there. Quite red sand. Looks like someone's had a bit of a dig here. Oh, you can smell the perfume.
I was standing up when it's ready to punch the tyres yeah. on the track. Now he walked ahead for a bit. Un unnamed water tank.